Hello Aries, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading from the 19th to the 25th of December 2022 for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. Remember this reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you as always, Aries. So let's see what we have for you. And for those that celebrate Christmas, I wish you a wonderful Christmas. So let's see what we have for our lovely Aries for the day. So we have an energy of companionship. Let's pull an angel card and see what we have for you. Message for Aries, please, for the week. Message for our lovely Aries for the week. Thank you. That, that, okay, that flew out. We have Tanzanite, ready to love again. This is your angel message. You've healed from the past enough to open your heart to new love. Self-love as well with that, but with companionship, it looks like someone. Let's see what we have with the cards here, Aries. What do we have for Aries, please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for our lovely Aries for the week. Overarching energy first for our lovely Aries, thank you. Message for Aries, thank you, okay. We have the overarching energy of the Eight of Cups and the Five of Wands. The Tower, Temperance, Ten of Swords, The Hermit, we have the Eight of Swords, The Three of Wands. And we have the Ace of Pentacles. So let's clarify the Ace of Cups and the Five of Wands. Conflict. Inner conflict, external conflict, could be both. Clarify the Five of Wands and the Eight of Cups, please. We have the Page of Swords and the Eight of Swords. This looks like you. There's a message, but you're not sure how you need to move forward in this situation. This is somebody who's trapped in their own head. Feels like there's a message. Page of Swords can also be about learning something or hearing something as well. And this is what do I do? I don't know how to move forward. So with the Five of Wands and the Eight of Cups, it's conflict, a bit conflict about walking away. You're conflicted whether to walk away or not. Go in search of something better. So let's clarify the tower. Six of Pentacles.
which looks like it's it's about uh, bringing things back into balance having, after a tower moment. The Six of Pentacles can be an offer. It can be sometimes the breadcrumb card when you're offered something uh, from your partner, but a feeling here, Aries, that they're only giving a little bit more. They're not giving everything that they could. This feels like someone is reaching out to calm the waters here after some kind of tower moment. Towers are, uh, can be major events, so can be about endings, uh, truth, revelation, an event that unfolds. It seems like this person is offering to uh, kind of try and get the balance back through this kind of give and take energy. Or offering you something, but you're not sure whether to heal this or not. Again, the Hermit is about going within, finding answers, and what experience has taught you and whether you want this is this is this healing available here. Let's clarify the Hermit. Yeah, we have Temperance and the Four of Wands. This is about reconciliation and healing in the home, the family, the relationship. Yeah, we can get the balance back. Slowly but surely get the balance back here. And that's what this energy is saying here as well, Aries. You know, the, the Temperance card is all about balancing things. Uh, because it all it implies also that things are out of balance six of, of pentacles with temperance things are out of balance now the four of wands is happy home happy family happy relationship it generally is the four corners of stability and security but that's challenge which means there's a potential for breakups here it feels like a relationship here and again the eight of swords i don't know which way to go i'm stuck in my own head can't see the way forward right now uh, because there are negative thoughts going around in your mind because this it looks like a your other half has done something that has that's made you conflicted as to whether to walk away or not so clarify the ten of swords painful endings Yeah, we have, I've got that again, the Moon and the Ten of Swords. Moon can be where we intuitively feel something, even though we're not sure, even though there can be uh, fears about the unknown, lack of clarity, uncertainty. It can sometimes be about surrendering in trust, trusting here that it's time to end end this relationship. Ten of Swords is a card of endings and again as part of this process you might have felt stabbed in the back, betrayed, deeply wounded, deeply hurt in a situation but this is where you draw the line under this situation I'm getting here Aries. It feels it feels that's the energy. You finally two Ten of Swords it just feels you are very hurt by somebody, but you can see in that card, a 10 is a completion. This is the end of that situation. And you can finally see, as soon as that ending, as soon as you draw a line into that situation, that new day starts dawning. There's certainty that the moon is always followed by the sun, and the sun is peeking through, pushing away those dark clouds. There's a new day dawning here. So it feels here there's a new sense of optimism and hope and light coming in because you're turning your back in a situation with the Three of Wands and manifesting a new direction. It's empowered. It's Aries energy, the Three of Wands. Uh, the sun in Aries. So at your most powerful. Uh, but a real energy of, of empire building, starting to... Uh, create a new life for yourself. This definitely feels like um, feeling optimistic about the future and manifesting that new path. With the Ace of Pentacles, again, this can be very good in terms of practical new beginnings. So new job, new business opportunities, very good, good in also moving or relocating or even getting a sum of money. I mean, if this was part of the process of 
um, you know, an ending and getting some kind of maybe even division of assets in some way. This could be that kind of energy. But it feels like you're 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 deciding to end what looks like a relationship here, Aries. Because this really disrupted your energy. There was deep inner there was probably external conflict with this tower, but also deep inner conflict as well within you. But this is an energy here with the three of wands of, of new hope, new optimism, feeling positive and optimistic, feeling empowered with that red cloak, that the path that you're moving towards, there's that new sense of, of positivity. So this is the energy here, Aries, of, of finally releasing from this negative energy that all this was and being clear about the direction you're moving forward on gives you that new sense of grounding and positive and light where you're empire building you're ready to manifest a new reality for yourself and feeling pretty positive about the future spirit is telling you and while you're in that process spirit is telling you companionship it might well be that you're you might have met somebody or then there will be someone new coming your way and Spirit is telling you, you're going to be ready to love again because the Eight of Cups walks away from disappointment, hurt, letdowns, endings, but will go in search of something better, the missing cup, the cup that brings the Nine of Cups, the heart's desire, the wish coming true. So where you're really fulfilled and happy. That's the energy here. Yeah, bottom of the deck, I've got the Two of Cups. I feel that this can be a friendship. This can be a new connection. It can also be, it's a bond between two people. So there's just an instant recognition of each of the souls in this card. Um, very deep connection. And it would almost be instantaneous uh, where you just recognize each other. This is the energy with the Two of Cups. You do that as friendships. We can do that in terms of love, romance, relationships. It looks like there's someone new here. There's an ending. And again, you know, time can be different for everybody. This situation could have happened already. This situation might be happening for you. Again, whatever life stage you're at, Spirit is telling you it's the same story anyway, essentially. And you've every reason to be hopeful and optimistic because the new path that you're manifesting, there's new, there's a new connection coming your way which is a like-minded soul, individual, kindred, kindred spirit, deep, powerful connection. So let's pull you a fairy card to finish off the reading. And really with the cards on the table, Aries, if you didn't feel that there was anybody else out there and you were worried about that or feared that, but you wouldn't meet anybody else. Spirit is telling you not to worry about that. There is somebody new. Okay. It could even be in the workplace, actually, as well. That just dropped in. Okay, final message for Aries. Yeah. <laughs> we have new beginnings. This fairy godmother heralds the joyous news of a new baby or the birth of a cherished idea. Protect and nurture your ideas as you would a baby, yeah. A beautiful new beginning awaits. That's what I have for you for the week. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful day, a wonderful week even, <laughs> and I will see you next time.